As you may know, licensed games on the Nintendo Entertainment System included this seal of quality in order to assure consumers that the game they purchased was a quality product. Nintendo didn't want their games to be thought of as trash like Atari's games were, but quality is not what the seal meant at all. No sir, this seal of quality actually just means that Nintendo approved the game for play on their system. Foolish gamer, why would you think the seal actually meant the game was good? So to prove that Nintendo didn't really care about the quality of their games on the NES, let's take a look at many, many games that are absolutely hot garbage. Starting with... Athena! Now I understand this game is based on an arcade game, and the jumping is a little... I guess wonky here? Can I attack? What, how am I supposed to attack here? I, oh, I guess I have like a kick attack. Oh, okay, well now I get like a like a club or something I can beat these guys with. The music is kind of iffy. Very, very chip toony. How do I get up there? Oh, it's kind of hard to jump sometimes. The graphics are just a little bit, um, I don't know, glitchy kind of? Oh, now I got a sword. Oh, come on! Now I'm dead. Ugh. I don't know, I think that one's got some boring graphics and terrible music. Next is The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Okay, alright, we, obviously we gotta jump past these bombs. Ooh, those graphics are just so incredibly detailed. Looks just like the cartoon, if a three-year-old drew it. I get the key, okay, come on, keep going. Take that, Boris Korloff, or whatever your name is. Come on, get up the stairs. Get off, get off me, you stupid rat. What is this, like, amoeba thing? Oh, man, now I'm dead? Waterfall, where am I supposed to go? Can I jump past, oh no, I fell. I thought I could jump past that waterfall there. All right, let's do this again. All right, uh, oh, I can attack. Okay, take that, you stupid rat. Mm, mm, uh. Oh, but throw a bomb at you, yeah. That music is getting really, really annoying. Am I supposed to get this drink or something? Oh, that's it. I've had enough of this game. Rocky and Bullwinkle is a load of bull, that's for sure. Next, let's try uh, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. And, oh, I kind of like the graphics here. That's pretty neat. I like how your character goes in and out of the uh, light from the light posts. You gotta jump on these guys, I think, to take out the tomatoes. And when you do that, they turn into more tomatoes. There doesn't seem to be any other way to attack these guys, though, besides jumping on them. And I think collecting, like, the lunch and the objects in the game will uh, increase your health a little bit. And then there's this boss guy. Let's see if I can kill him. Jumping on his head. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Get back here! Mmm! Uh! Get, I said get back here. Oh, he's just running away. What the heck? So I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do here besides uh, defeating the boss who just runs away. Maybe you have to kill a certain number of tomatoes to move on. I don't know, that one was kind of interesting there for a little bit, except for, again, I really don't know what the heck I'm supposed to do. I did kind of like the graphics, though. Here we have Back to the Future, and the only thing good about this game is the fact that I just had my cartridge signed by uh, Tom Wilson. Boy, this is my favorite game of all time. <laughs> and I'm not saying that just because Greg makes me. <laughs> Ow! Greg, stop. Stop. It's really fine. Boy, do I find Greg entertaining. <laughs> he is so fun with his channel about games. I know so much about games. All right. Like Pong. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. But besides that, I pretty much hate this game. I hate how the stage just constantly scrolls and how you have to collect the clocks in order to get to the next part of the game. Also, the music is just so obnoxious. I think it's supposed to be a sped up version of Johnny B. Good. Also, the worst thing that you could possibly do is get that skateboard because now you're too fast and you're just going to crash into something. Now, the stages here, like in Lou's Cafe, they could have been good if you had any idea of where you were standing when you were throwing the, uh, I guess, their milkshakes or whatever. But it's hard to judge where you need to stand to throw them. You just have to get lucky, really. Oh, crap, he got me. Well, finish it already. Jeez, takes forever. It's a shame that this game is nothing like the movie. 
Will they be able to redeem themselves with Back to the Future 2 and 3? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> I've never understood the whole uh, futuristic kind of vibe of this game. I mean, there's spiked turtles that you can jump on. I mean, everybody knows you're not supposed to jump on those kind of guys, but you, you can in this game. And I think basically what you're supposed to do is go around and collect different objects and put them in the correct time periods. I hate the controls in this game. Marty just kind of feels so jinky. He, he doesn't want to move the way I want him to. Ugh, where the heck am I supposed to go here? Come on, look out, this stupid bird's coming after me. You remember that part of the movie when the blue bird attacked Marty? Or when he had to jump on the turtles with the spikes? Or when he was uh, accosted by uh, trash cans with eyeballs? I don't know, I just think they could have done a heck of a lot better than this. Next is Bad Street Brawler, and this is only one of two games that work with the Power Glove. It's rough playing this with a controller, I can't imagine how bad it would be playing it with the, uh, the Power Glove. Take that. Oh yeah, you want some of this? Come here. Ugh. Ow. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Just keep punching these guys until they go down. Look out for the dog. <laughs> the animation of the character is just so cheesy. Oh, now I'm fighting a gorilla. <laughs> what is this? Okay, now we're at the pier, and uh, <laughs> I love the attack in this one where you like have to tickle your opponent when they go down on the ground. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Oh man! Come here, I'm gonna tickle you. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, now you're hitting me from behind. That's not cool. Kick you in the face. Take that. Ugh, this game is just so cheesy. I, I'd much rather play Double Dragon 2. Here is Barbie. Well, I guess this is Barbie Adventures. Uh, Barbie Adventures when she falls asleep. What is this? Is this like a kid's room or something? You got uh, tennis rackets hitting a ball up and down. There's a little dog down there. Oh, oh look, a toucan. I can't get over these boxes. Does, does Barbie have like a double jump or something she can do? What the heck am I supposed to do? Okay, there's some perfume up there. Maybe I'm supposed to jump up there and get the perfume. How can we get up there? Go over here. Get ah oh, yes, we got it. Okay, I still can't get over these boxes. Here, just kill me already. Yeah, she should wake up from this nightmare of a game and move on. Go hop in your little Corvette and take a drive. <laughs> That'd probably be better. This is Bill and Ted's excellent video game adventure, and I kind of thought this would follow the movie, but it doesn't really. It's kind of like a sequel to the movie. And basically, you talk to Rufus here for way too long, and he tells you something about having to find objects in different time periods and take them to the right places. Kind of like Back to the Future 2 and 3. All right, now we're on the circuits of time. What the heck are we supposed to do here? What is the point of this? Oh, there we go. We're doing something. We're going... Oh, come on. Oh, gee, many Christmas. How do we get out of this part? I just want to play the game. All right, after messing around with it for way too long, I finally got into the game part of the game. Here we are walking around on this dirt path. Strangely enough, you can't walk on the grass. Is there some kind of a law saying you can't walk on the grass or something? All right, now I'm lost. I'm just kind of wandering around. Ugh, I don't want to talk to these people. Go away. Let's see if we can't just jump over this grass here. Ugh. Ooh, where are we? We're like in a castle or something now. Oh man, I don't want to go back outside again. This game is rough. I think I'd rather be putting the Iron Maiden than play that again. Here we have Chubby Cherub. I think what you're supposed to do is eat all the fruit and avoid the dogs. But I think I'll just play this like Kirby and just fly over everything. How do we get to the end of the stage here? Get the power. Yeah, move on. There we go. We're moving on to the next stage. Or at least the next part of the stage. Keep on flying there. Keep on flying. Kind of an unremarkable game. Very boring. Next is Color a Dinosaur. And basically this is not a game, but more of a video coloring book. And looks like we have 16 different dinosaurs to color. And we'll just kind of click on the body and change its color. Blue is nice, I guess. Make his wings red here. Kind of disappointing the uh, choice of colors that you have. Just, just a couple, and some of them are dithered. 
And I like how when you fill in the uh, like the whole background graphics, it, it fills in the, the big chunks of it, and then it uh, does more detail work around the edge of the dinosaur. What am I supposed to do with this once I've colored my dinosaur? There's no way to save it, is there? Oh, it looks like I discovered uh, more colors. Well, more like different palettes. The funny thing is, I know for a fact that the NES can do better than four colors on the screen at once. The people who programmed this game just did a terrible job. Here we have Conan, which I think is based on a uh, computer game. And the graphics are... I mean, there's some detail, but they look kind of monochrome. Also, where's my sword? Do I have to hunt for the sword? Oh my gosh, and the jumping is terrible. You have to push down to jump. If only I had a sword, I'd be able to defeat these guys a lot better. Take that, you stupid skeleton. I want to punch you in the... Well, I guess you don't have a face, but screw it. I'm just going to run away. Just keep running to the end of the stage. Maybe we'll get somewhere. Oh, we got a lion guy here. Is that a Ligar? Can we just run past him? Aw, oh, man. I'm dead. I don't know, I don't like this game. It's way too cryptic for me. I think you get a sword later in the game, but come on, give it to me right off the bat here. This is stupid. Next is Dash Galaxy in the Alien Asylum, and I kind of like the vibe of this uh, cinematic here. That's pretty cool. What is this, like, voxel or pushover or something? What are we supposed to do? I thought maybe I could blow these things up, but I guess you just have to push them out of the way. Uh, oh my god, what is this? The graphics are ridiculous. Come on, get up there. Can't quite... Oh, get up there. Oh, get off me. Come on, get up there already. The controls are just so ridiculous. Oh, oh, trampoline. That's cool. Collect all the stars. Yeah, let's keep going here. What is that thing up there? Is that a doorknob? Ah, come on, get up there. Oh, man, now I'm back in the boxel stage again. Well, maybe let's try a different level. It's the same thing! The graphics are just so bad in this. It makes me think of that uh, baby food from Robocop, the kind of brownish, pukey looking baby food that he was eating. Ugh. Kind of appropriate for this game, because this game is puke. I don't like it. Here's uh, Deadly Towers, and this is usually cited as one of the worst uh, Nintendo NES games. And we're just kind of wandering around this uh, kind of neat 3D-esque looking area here. It's kind of cool. The enemy character graphics are kind of bland, kind of boring. And it looks like they tried to add a little bit of detail to these balls, but mm, eh, not much. Oh, fire. Let's shoot the fire here in the middle. Okay. Is that gonna open some special doors or something, or...? Oh, here we go. We got some bosses here. Take that, take that, take that. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. We got a coin and a heart. Alright, well, I don't know where I'm supposed to go or what I'm supposed to do, but overall, I don't think this game is as bad as most people say it is. At least it's playable. Oh, oh, what the heck. Now we got a whole bunch of these boss guys. Ah, oh, well, I'm dead. Next we have uh, Double Dare. And let's start off with this uh, dare thing here. We got some bowling going on. How are we supposed to hit these pins? All right, we'll hold that thing there. Oh, I got one there. Okay, let's see if I can do another one. Oh, what? I barely had any time to do anything here. Couldn't even figure out how to do the controls. Yeah, yeah, we all know that uh, Sherlock Holmes was the fictional detective at 221B Baker Street. Come on, let's go. Let's do another physical challenge already. What's the scissor-tailed flycatcher? Some kind of bird, I guess. All right, when do we get to the physical challenges here? This is boring, just answering a bunch of questions. Okay, here we are at halftime, and uh, we have to do this putting challenge. Uh, oh, okay, I think I got the hang of this. Now I'm... No, not, not quite. There we go. Ah, that's a little better. Oh, I got one, yeah. Oh, what? We were tied and then he got one at the last second. This is garbage. All right, more questions here. Oh my God. Which candy was named after a group of French Three Musketeers. I mean, come on, these questions are so easy. All right, let's skip ahead to the obstacle course. Okay, I'm hitting uh, right on the joystick. He's not moving. I guess we have to tap the buttons here to go. Come on, there we go. Jump into the slime pit. Jump up there and line it over the get over there. Why is the control so annoying in this game? Are they trying to do like track and field or something? Oh jeez, get up there. Come on. I got that like four times. Get up this 
stupid staircase here. Get down there already. Jiminy Christmas. All right, come on, go, go, go. Run fa- I'm hitting the buttons as hard as I can. All right, get up there. Get up there. Climb the stupid mountain. Why is he not moving? jeez. Oh, I give up. This game is terrible. I dare you to play it and enjoy it. All right, here we have the famous Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And pretty much no one would know of this game if it weren't for the Angry Video Game Nerd, which I think this is his favorite bad game of all time. Okay, we're just boringly walking through the town, getting attacked by dogs and spiders and um, gentlemen who are dropping bombs on me. Oh, come on, get off me, dude. Oh, you stupid spider. How can I make him walk faster? He's just so freaking slow. What I don't understand is why is everybody trying to attack me? Why don't they like Dr. Jekyll? I thought he was a nice guy. Oh, here we go. We're Mr. Hyde now. Okay, now this is the fun part. Well, at least as fun as this game is going to get. I do kind of like the graphics in this game. They're pretty cool. I like to just punch everything. Come on, you stupid brains. Oh, stop shooting bullets at me. Come on. What the heck is this thing with a... Looks like he's got a trumpet or something, or maybe a really long nose. I'm not sure. Oh, I just barely missed getting hit by those brains. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Now I'm dead. Please tell me this is game over. <laughs> I want to do something else. Uh. Next, we have uh, Dragon's Lair, which is exactly like the arcade game. I mean, look at this. You can't tell the difference between this and the, and the arcade game. Oh, come on. Why is it just a one-hit death? And why is the bridge just disintegrating as I'm walking across it? I guess it does that in the arcade game, too, so I'll give them credit for that. But how do I get across the bridge? I can't even get past the first stage in this one. The animation's not too bad and the graphics are pretty good, but starting the player off like this where it's almost impossible to even get to the stupid door, that's just cruel and unusual punishment. This is Ghostbusters. Who you gonna call? Now, I played this one recently on the Commodore 64 and it was actually pretty decent, but the NES conversion is bland. The music is incredibly repetitive and some of the choices that they make um, while you're playing the game just make no sense. Like, why is my car going to the very top of the screen instead of staying near the bottom where it's easier to avoid uh, other cars? I do kind of like this part where you're catching the ghosts. Uh, that may be the only fun part of the entire game, but the graphics are just so bland. Okay, let's see if we can't get down to this other building here and catch some more ghosts. How far away is this stupid building? There we go. Put down the trap. Let's see if we can catch some of these guys. Okay. Now how do we get these other guys over here? Come on. Oh, I got that one. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I crossed the streams. Okay. This game is just so tedious. I mean, there's not even anything fun to look at. The graphics are just so bland. Not to mention the fact that the music is just so incredibly repetitive. I don't think I ever want to hear the Ghostbusters theme again <laughs> after this. How about a little Hudson Hawk starring Bruce Willis? Of course, I never saw this movie. I don't know anything about it. But, I mean, how bad could it be? Okay, this stupid dog's biting me and pulling me over the side. Oh, come on, you stupid mutt. Oh, I thought maybe I could throw the ball and, and make the dog chase it, but no, that didn't work. Oh, come on. Get... Ah, oh, the jumping is just so bad. Get up there already. Come on, we're almost there. Got it. Oh, yes. Okay, we'll climb across this thing and... What? what? This stupid bird knocked me off. Can I go in this other door? No. Maybe if I get a running start. There we go. Okay, get past this bird here. Oh, what? I just fall? Oh my gosh. I forget it. I hate this game. All right, this is the Incredible Crash Dummies. And it looks like I have uh, an air cannon to shoot with. Not sure how useful that's going to be. Oh, what the heck? Come on. Oh, I'm supposed to collect the cones? Oh, I can shoot these with the air cannon. Guess that stuns them, right? Can I destroy them? No, of course not. All right, let's get up this incline here. Come on, get up there. There you go. Can I get up there? I gotta get those other cones. There were cones! 
Oh, oh man, I, I do not like the way my character gets bounced around when he gets hit. Can I, can I actually get up to the next level, or am I stuck on here forever? There we go. I think you have to do like this diagonal jump. There we go. Yeah, for the bouncing tires. Ooh, I guess I have to grab the steering wheel. There we go. Take that. Take that. Oh man. All right, well, I think I've had enough of this game. Um, I don't like the level design, and I don't like getting bounced around uh, when you get hit. Also, air cannon. What the heck? That's the most lamest weapon ever. Here's Muppet Adventure Chaos at the Carnival. And apparently we have uh, four different mini-games to play. This one here is kind of like Asteroids, where you um, play as Gonzo in a spaceship and you're shooting, I don't know, rocks? They don't really look like Asteroids, but I think that's what they're supposed to be. Also, if you get far enough, you can get into this part of the game where you have to traverse through this narrow cavern here, which is a little bit challenging, kind of reminds me of Gravatar. All right, here's another mini game. This one with Kermit going down a river in an inner tube. And the graphics are extremely bland here. And it's very narrow trying to get through. Oh, get past that stupid log. I couldn't do it. And in this game, we have Animal on a bumper car, slipping and sliding around the road. The controls in this one are, well, slippery, to be honest with you. And then lastly, we have this maze game with Fozzie Bear, and he basically just wanders around and looks for his ties, I guess. It's right over there, Fozzie. Okay, yay, we got to the next stage. Oh my god, this is so boring. Other than that Asteroids minigame, this game is extremely dull and boring. This one is Muscle, and I think it's based off of a line of toys. We got some really funky looking wrestlers here. And the moves are just uh, completely non-intuitive here. Get, oh yeah, take that. Hey, you want some of this? Mm. All right, let's try some different characters here. Maybe it's better. Um, no, not really, no it's not. The graphics are incredibly lame here too. I mean, come on, look, look, at, this, look at this ring. It's just completely white. There's no like logo on the floor. There's no animation in the crowd. There's this guy who creeps along the edge of the ring there and throws in power-ups. And you better get it too, because if you don't, then you're just gonna get pummeled. This was pretty rough. Mostly the controls are just terrible. Mm, get off me. Oh, oh crap, now we got the power up. Come on, I don't want to get back over there to tag team out. Take that, take that. Yep, mm hmm. Oh, yeah. What was that, a pile driver or a reverse? I don't know. I don't know any of these moves. Ooh, now I'm like throwing my axe and stuff at these guys. Yeah, how you like that? Ugh. This game is just so laughable. The characters look so bad, and I don't know. Let's move on to the next game. This one's Renegade, and it is based on an arcade game. The controls are kind of weird in this one. It kind of reminds me of Double Dragon 2, where you, uh, you know, you press the button in the direction you want to attack. But the thing is, once you push that button, he switches directions that he's facing, and then he'll start doing a punch. Very confusing on the, how these controls work. Oh, get off me. Come on, take Oh. Oh, get off me. Take, mmm. Oh, yeah, you like this? Oh, take, uh, mmm. Right now I'm dead. Get lost, punk. Yeah, well, I want to get lost because I hate this game. Okay, I think I got the hang of the controls here. Oh, now he's hitting. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh yeah, threw him. I like that. It's so confusing trying to remember which way to hit the button. Mm. Oh, oh, right in the cross. Oh, and a flip over. Yeah, I think I'm doing pretty good here. I maybe, maybe I can get to the next stage. Oh man, got me again. All right, let's try some Super Pitfall. This is definitely gonna be better than the uh, Atari 2600 game, right? Ooh, oh man, the graphics are on a kind of bland and also extremely janky. And by janky, I mean glitchy. This is almost like a, a beta version of this game. You'd think they would have play tested a little bit more. Also, check out the animation of Pitfall Harry. It's uh, a, whole, a total of what, like two frames maybe? And where the heck am I going here? I'm completely lost. So 
Such a shame. I thought this game was going to be good. Well, I mean, when I originally heard it was coming out for the Nintendo. But uh, this is definitely a case where the Atari 2600 game is like 10 times better. All right, this is Tag Team Pro Wrestling. And this one looks a little bit better than Muscle, at least. Oh, it's got some nice uh, voice sound effects. I'm not really sure what's going on here with the grappling. It seems like um, whenever I grab one of these guys, it, it shows a, a button press that I'm supposed to do. Yeah, get over here. Yeah, take that. Mmm, ah, uh, mmm, kicking you in the foot. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, what the heck was that? Oh, man, he still got up. Oh, D, a D kick. Oh, throw him against the ropes. Oh, kick him in the face. Oh, and he goes outside the ring. Let's keep slamming it. Oh, yeah, slam him. Down you go. I'm going to get back in the ring. You stay. You better stay out of there. Don't you dare get back in this ring. Oh, come on. Oh, get... Oh, man. No, 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 no. Oh, are you kidding me? The strong bads win? The sound effects are pretty good in this game, but otherwise it's pretty rough. Alright, uh, I'm gonna have to do it. I have to play this Uncanny X-Men game, which I think is one of the worst games I've ever played. And I played Firefly for the Atari 2600. I mean, look how bad the graphics are in this. Oh man, I'm dead already? You have a companion that plays with you, but I don't know what if he even does anything. I just want to get past all this. See you suckers later. Come on, get past that door. Oh, get in there. Go, go, go. Okay, I can't move. I'm stuck. I guess I have to shoot these guys. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I did, but I guess I got a little bit further. Did I just change characters or something? Oh, I get maybe he was like super powered or something. Oh, terrible, terrible game. Graphics are bad, sound effects are bad, level design is bad. I mean, there's nothing redeeming about this game at all. It's time for Wayne's World. Oh, I kind of like the digitized graphics, not too bad. All right, let's start off by playing Garth here. And um, looks like he's got some kind of a laser gun that he's shooting like cymbals and drums and stuff with. And saxophones. Get off me, you stupid sax. Oh, I'm dead. No way. My memory's a little fuzzy, but I sure as heck don't remember when this happened in the movie. That's on the drums. Can we just run past everything and just get to the end of the stage? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Come on, go, go, go. Oh, whew. party on, Garth. All right, now we're Wayne, and uh, he's even lamer than Garth. He doesn't even have a gun or nothing. He's just kicking. Also, I thought we'd be in a different uh, stage than this crazy music store. No stairway. Way. <sighs> the animation of Wayne, I don't know, it just looks like it's missing a few frames here. Ooh, we got some records, and I'm dead. No way. Yeah, way. I'm gonna play a different game. How about Where's Waldo? This has gotta be better than Wayne's World, right? Okay, we're Waldo, and he's slowly walking around the world here. Let's go into this train station, I guess. Yeah. All right. Oh my god, what is this? Are we supposed to be looking for Waldo here? I'm just going to click every one of these sections here until I find him. Ah, there we go. Tough game. This just looks like somebody threw up all over the screen. I mean, how are you supposed to find Waldo on a screen like this where there's, you know, the resolution is so terrible? Okay, I found Waldo, but how did I even find him there? All right, let's see if we can't find Waldo here in the city. I'm genuinely looking for Waldo here, trying to find him. No, not there. Uh... Nope. All right, I give up. Come on, just click everything. Maybe we'll get him. Ah, oh, this stupid game. Ah, I give up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fine, whatever. I lost. I don't care. All right, lastly, we have WWF WrestleMania. Bigger, better, badder. Okay. And we have some different characters to choose from. I think I'll go Hulk versus Randy Savage. All right, let's 
get this on. Okay. Where's the, uh, there's no background graphics? It's like we're fighting in a black void here. Ooh. Oh, man, he's kicking my butt. I can't even turn around. Get off me, savage. Oh, yeah, you like that kick to the face, huh? Oh, yeah, take that. Mmm. Why are we playing, um, graduation music now? <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, don't you dare pin me. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Alright, let's try a different character here. Let's go with, uh, Andre the Giant. I mean, he never lost, right? Look at how bad the animation is on, uh, Andre the Giant. He looks so derpy there. And trying to hit these guys is just off. It's like you can't quite make contact with them. You have to be on the exact right plane as them in order to hit them. Yeah, get back here, you punk. Oh, yeah, ooh, mm. You can't defeat Andre the Giant. Pin him! How do I pin him? Oh, he's gaining energy back. That's not cool. Come on, hit him! Oh, no, I didn't want you to bounce around the ring. Oh my gosh. I think I ran out of time. Either that or I just don't care. Is this all the garbage games on the NES? Absolutely not. There are many, many more cartridges that are total trash, but still have the quality seal on it. Which one traumatized you as a kid? Let me know down in the comments. With that said, I wanna thank you for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everyone.